Hey everyone, um, it's Melissa here. I've been feeling guided to make a part two. Um, I didn't think I would make a part two, but um, there was so much feedback with the first video that I just felt like I had to make another one. There was a lot of people who asked me questions that I think are legit questions um, that you know would you know make me feel like I need to make a follow up. So uh, before we get into it, just a couple of things. I am offering private readings. Please check the description box for further information, but please um, reach out to the email. Do not pay me first. Reach out to my email so we can discuss your reading first and book it before you pay. Um, I'm going to get right into it right now. Um, guys, um, my first video, if you are just watching this, um, it's very important for you to go back and watch my first one, the first video I did about um, Naya Rivera, okay? Or you won't understand anything I'm talking about in this one, okay, guys? So first and foremost, I want to talk about, um, I mentioned in that first video about putting her son up on the boat and then going swimming. Sometimes um, when people see things, um, like especially like, you know, people who have the gift of seeing, they're not always able to make out what they see. But I will tell you that night I made that video, I had a dream um, where it was my own children and it was like we were in some really dark, murky water and there was like tree branches and sitting out, like sticking out from the water. And it was like, the dream was like, my own children kind of like there was a wave that came over my children and I had to go out and kind of like save them so for me that was symbolism that you know I very much believe what they are saying it resonates um that you know she did get she was able to put her own son up and then she went down um so there was very much of like a saving like it wasn't that she went out and was swimming. It was like she got her kid up onto the boat and she went down. Um, so there was that aspect that I feel because I was shown in my dreams. And when I'm hearing that too, it resonates that, you know, she saved her son. Okay, guys, um, it really does resonate. Um, another thing is I mentioned in the first video about, you know, the love that you know she was able to receive from this little boy because you know in her life she had not you know it, it just she wasn't able to feel you know filled up you know like with what you know she was able to give she gave to everybody but she wasn't able to get that reciprocal feeling and when that little boy came in um you know it it was like what she needed, okay? And I mentioned that in the first video. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I'm reading articles right now that um, they're talking about she had mentioned to family and, family and friends that this little boy was able to, it was like a love like no other um, and that she had never felt before. Um because I'll tell you guys, like, before this little boy came in, it wasn't good. It wasn't, it, it, it like, this, like, it, it wasn't good, okay? With this card here and, like, the fam, it just, it wasn't good, okay? I feel like this woman had a lot of takers around her, okay? So she was giving, 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 and, like, there was, she wasn't receiving, okay? Um, I want to talk about the body being found i really feel like her soul had a part to play uh with the body coming up um i don't give credit to like the police and the divers she was not able to rest okay um until her body was found because she you know she hasn't totally transitioned um she's been seen like the anarchy that's come from you know her passing and very much with the family like what it's been doing to them you know here on this earth plane most of the you know the way it goes is like we don't have closure until we have the body okay so she knew she had to work from the other side to make her body come up because i'm telling you it was very tangled um and I'll tell you another thing too. When I saw the footage, um, on like that those divers were providing, 
of what it looked like down there, I was disgusted. I don't understand how people are allowed to swim in a water like that. I mean, I've never heard of anything. Like I told you, I'm not from the States, like, but where I live, like that would not be a swim, um, a lake that is allowed to be swam in whatsoever. Okay. Um, so I feel like from the other side, she really helped with that. Okay. Because she knew it's like what her family needed because her family, um, not just the death, but it's like the fact that the body, it's like they were holding on to hope that she was missing, but she knew the closure that, um, you know, they needed. Um, I'm going to tell you another thing too. Um, her death could actually, you know, be a catalyst for this lake. Um, you know, there could be, there could have been maybe, you know, future tragedies with this lake. I feel very strongly that, um, there's going to be some kind of petition signing or, um, like something that passes where, you know, there will not be allowed any more swimming. Uh, you might be able to go on a boat, but you might not be able to go inside the water. Um, and this is very possible because I'll tell you, there's a lake I visit in my city where we can take paddle boats out, but we're not allowed to get into the water. Um, so there could be some kind of like law or something like with a petition or a bunch of people getting together and saying no more, you know, this place is not safe. Okay. And I'll tell you like, when I, after I made that vi my last video and I actually like Googled an image of that lake, like I don't get a good feeling. Like I feel, I smell death. I feel death. I feel eerie. I feel dark. It's like, it's a very creepy vibe that I get when I look at the lake and I've never looked at a lake in my life and felt that before. So that was interesting. Um, you know, one moment. Yeah, there could definitely be a petition with this, which is good, okay? Because it could prevent, you know, future, future, future issues, okay? Um, I'm really feeling strongly that she's been around this Big Sean. Like, this Big Sean has been coming up to me. Like, she has dated people, okay? You know, but I'm just picking up on this Big Sean. Like, they had a real, like, they had really something special, okay? And she's been around him because he's not doing too well. Um, I feel like with him and his soul, there's a lot of regrets, um, I think he had pushed a lot of these things inside. So I think he was quite shocked when, you know, the, the news of her death kind of, you know, brought those things up. But, um, there's a lot of regret when it comes to her of not trying to make it work because just as like I said in my previous video that he was the love of her life, she was very much special to him. Okay. And they have a very special connection. So I do feel like they will meet up again in the next life and try it out. Um, but he's definitely not doing well right now at this time, okay? Um, the ex-husband here, I'm not... I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, I'm and I'm I'm not saying anything like you know bad about the guy like that you know, he wanted her to go or anything like no. This is not what I'm trying to say. But I don't feel that great um, energy from me coming from this guy. I feel like it could be like I'm hearing like out of the way, out of the way, like you know. With her being gone now, you know the son will be you know his okay. So I wanted to say that, but I also don't want anyone to twist my words and think that like she wanted, he wanted her to die. No, it's just that I am feeling that those thoughts, like I'm feeling a lot of thoughts coming from him. Like, yes, he's sad, but also it's kind of like a relief. Like now my son will be mine. Um, we need to talk about Corey. Um, guys, there, there's no such thing as coincidence. Okay. Um, you need to know that even for your own journey, 
please never dismiss signs and stuff when you're going through your own life. Um, nothing's a coincidence, okay? So it's not a coincidence that her body was found the day that he passed. Um, that, for me, just basically makes me feel like, okay, you know, it's kind of like that stamper, okay, sealed, you know, like, like that's what I'm saying, like, there's something, you know, we have to look at that, okay, like, she is very much with him, like, Corey actually has quite a beautiful energy, he really does, um, he actually has light worker, um, abilities, and, you know, I really feel like from the other side, he's helping a lot of people, you know, especially people who have went through, you know, like how he died. But um, him and Naya had a very special connection, okay? Like their souls are definitely connected. Um, they had an amazing friendship. And, you know, he came also to to kind of sort out the confusion because I think she knew that if she saw him, she would know that she had passed, Okay. Um, but he's definitely been by her side since the start um, in helping her transition, okay? Because sometimes, like, I don't want to say sometimes, but, like, when you go like that in a drowning, it's very shocking, okay, to the soul. Um, because, like I said, like, it's like you're one minute here, one minute there. You're not expecting it. You didn't know. Um I had a viewer who wanted to ask me um, about if I could feel anything on the other castmates. Um, so I'm going to talk about that as well. Um, the guy who killed himself because of the child pornography. We don't need, we can't judge people, okay? Like, I feel like this soul, um, it happened to him. Um I feel like he was a victim of, you know, child abuse, child sexual abuse. And I also feel that, you know, it could have happened like, you know, in Hollywood as well. Something you may not know is that there's been a link between, you know, people who get sexually abused and then do it to other people. I don't, I think he was, he was a victim. I don't want to call him a victim. Some people might get mad at that. Like, I know we have choices, but he he's very much still in a transition over there like he was not able to come for her that's why it was Corey. you know he she will be able to meet up with him but he still has a lot of work to do over there i sense that this is a very troubled soul um and i feel like stuck in that energy of like what happened to him you know like that kind of victim mode of you know why did this happen to me i could have had you know a life you know but He's very much working on um, himself over there. Um, I will say, though, when I look at the whole cast of Glee, I feel a very gnarly, fishy energy that doesn't seem right, okay? Um, I don't know exactly what it is. I can't put two and two to together, but it goes back to this, like, Hollywood sickness, okay? Um, <sighs> Hollywood society sickness, okay? So, like I said, nothing is random, okay? There's not, it's not like just a coincidence that you have three people going, okay, from this, you know, show in their 30s, okay? I can't really exactly touch on it, but it's something you need to think about. And, you know, it goes back to my other video when I talk about, you know, the Wayfarer um, issue. You know, everything's coming out of the ashes now. Like, we are starting to see there's no more hidden truths, okay? Age of Aquarius. There's a big sickness in Hollywood, okay? Um, I wouldn't really put it even past it with Naya. Like, I think she went through her own things, too, in Hollywood because she was a child actress. I really wouldn't put it past. And, um, you know, I think it's a little eerie, too, that when, you know, that, that guy she was dating with the child pornography died, you know, she's like, I wasn't surprised, you know? Like, I, I don't know. You know, there is a sickness going on here. It will come out. But 
one thing you guys need to know is that she's at peace. Um, I think she's just waiting for her funeral and then she will move on with her journey. But this Corey will be with her. Um, they are very much connected. I'm not saying like in a romantic way, but their souls are connected, okay? They've met up before in different lives and he is her rock right now. Like, you know, he's been helping her. Um, like I said, he's a very beautiful energy, okay? Um, but she is at, she's at peace now. She's at peace, okay? Um, she knew her body needed to come up for her family to have peace and for people to move on because she sees, she sees what, you know, her choices that she made, you know, how it affected other people. Um, and, you know, it's, it's all a learning experience, okay, guys? So that's all I have. I will not be making a follow-up video to this. This is like my end-all closure to this situation. But one thing, you know, one thing you need to know is that she's on peace and she has Corey. She has other family members on the other side. But um, she was never alone, okay? So nobody died tragically. Everyone was met with love. It was, it was a beautiful experience, you know? She's at peace and she will be with her son till you know he comes home to her okay guys so thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment leave me a like if there's anything you liked about this i love reading your guys comments your comments bring me so much joy okay so um thank you so much for watching